Hard to imagine and even more difficult for me to say, but I am officially out of my 20s. I am now 30 years old, it feels great, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite Disney moments from the past decade. Now, when I talk about our favorite Disney moments, I'm thinking about experiences that we've had together over the past 10 years that I will always cherish in my life and really, really positive ones that make me smile. Now, of course, there are other memories besides Disney memories, but in this video today, I'm going to prioritize the Disney memories with you. Let's jump in. As you may know, moving to the Orlando area has been a lifelong dream of mine, and making it come true in my 20s was something that I will never forget. You know, even when I was a kid, I would told my mom when I was like six years old, I said, Mom, one day I want to live here. On a Disney adventure, we were in Mickey's Toontown Fair. I said, Mom, I want to live here one day. And being able to kind of go forward with that and be here, it's, it's a dream come true. Really, really is. It was a dream before, it still is a dream now. Really, really is a dream come true. And despite the fact that we cannot go into the parks at the time of filming and during this transition into my 30s, and the fact that I still can't go into the park right now is not a precursor for what the next 10 years is gonna look like. Of course, Disney's gonna come back better than ever before. It's gonna take time, but this is just one small blip in the road. I remember when I was dreaming about coming to Florida, I would look at the weather sometimes, or I look at transportation, like between, okay, if I, if I was here and I tried to get to Disney Springs, or if I was at Disney Springs, how long would it take me to get to Epcot? I would do like the transportation on maps. Does anyone else do that? I did that forever, trying to figure out what it would be like to just drive around and have a great time. I mean, oh my gosh, and, and yeah, it's a great feeling. Another highlight of my 20s, which I will never forget, is the amazing community of friends that we have together on this channel. The opportunity to share our truly magical adventures together has been an unbelievable journey, and I, I have a feeling it's gonna get even more exciting as the years progress. I have no plans whatsoever to stop or even slow down because I love it so, so much. And although I can't respond to every single comment, I try and read as many as possible because it goes it goes beyond the creation of the videos. It goes beyond the channel itself. It's the connections that we make together. I love reading your comments, love seeing friends in the parks. It's just, it brings me a smile each and every day and I'm so grateful that we have this community. The next one I do want to mention as a highlight for my 20s is the opportunity to join those Disney media events. It has been an unbelievable adventure. We've been to several of those events already and I am just truly honored that Disney has this opportunity for me to share these special events with you. It is a complete dream come true for me through and through and I'm overjoyed that Disney has this opportunity for us to experience together. It's something that I am honored to be a part of and I want to make sure I do my very best to be accurate with all the information that I share with you and at the same time if I don't like something, if I think that something can be improved, I am honest and true in my opinions. I take that very very seriously as well because I know that many friends say, Michael, what do you think? I trust your opinion. So my opinions are my own. No one told me to say anything. If I say, oh, I didn't really care for that, you know I didn't really care for that. Another amazing memory from the past decade of adventures at Disney is the opening of Pandora World of Avatar. It was our first land opening at a Disney park. It's an experience I will never forget. Waking up at four in the morning to go out there, be one of the very first to go into Pandora World of Avatar with tremendous number of crowds, trying new beverages, trying the very amazing attractions that they have. It was a dream come true experience and one that I reminisce about quite a bit. I actually did a reaction video to that adventure because I loved it so much. Another great Disney memory from the other coast, Disneyland in California, was the 60th anniversary celebration, which we had the opportunity to experience together myself, my brother David, and my sister Michelle. It was such a fun adventure. We had so much fun experiencing all of the magic. We went on Dapper Day, so we were in our Dapper Best. During this diamond celebration, we got special merchandise, got a chance to see the castle and all the decorations. It's one I will never forget, and I'm really looking forward to it future anniversaries, both at Disneyland and Disney World. In my 20s, I had the opportunity to experience the Disney Cruise Line for the very first time. It's a memory that I will never forget. The first all the way through current sixth Disney Cruise on the Disney Cruise Line. Amazing, magical experiences all around. We tried every single cruise ship, all the different restaurants, Really, really amazing times. One very interesting fun fact about this, I have learned about the Disney Cruise Line with you. So the very first time that I went, I vlogged the adventure and I've vlogged ever since. So we have been on this chronicled adventure together on the Disney cruise ships and it's been amazing. It's really cool to look back and see some of the changes that I've made to myself in terms of cruising. First it was like go, go, go all the time, like a Disney World vacation on board. And you can see now I've kind of taken more time to relax by the jacuzzi or pool. So it varies. It really 
does vary, you can kind of see that transition for me. Another incredible adventure that I smile about every time I think about it is the Aulani adventure that my brother David and I had the opportunity to experience not too long ago. Disney's Aulani Resort in Honolulu, Hawaii is amazing. I can't recommend it highly enough. And David and I actually were just talking about it. We were just talking about it, how we want to go back. We really, really loved it. And as soon as this global situation is over, I cannot wait, cannot wait to get back to Aulani. It's so relaxing, so peaceful. Amazing Dole Whip flavor, ice cream flavor, pumpkin spice ice cream. You can snorkel with the fish, taco pizza. There was, there was some amazing, amazing food and experiences and Hawaiian culture. Being immersed there was just so cool. Now, thinking back to other park openings, another one of my favorite memories from my 20s is the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. When Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened for the very first time, we had the opportunity to experience it with friends. It's only because of my friends who invited me to come and share in it with them that we had the opportunity to experience it as much as we did. And it was so, so much fun, so much excitement all around. And then after all this, a couple, I think it was months later, Freeform actually picked it up and shared some of our vlogs on, uh, on their channel. It was amazing, truly, truly amazing experience. There are so many amazing memories and there are some smaller ones that I wanna to touch on as well. Like the first time I tried a Night Blossom. First time I had it, I didn't know what I was drinking. Something super sweet. I knew I loved it. The moment I tried it, I just I did, took a small sip. I said, yep, I love this. Just that fast. It was so, so quick. I loved it through and through. I knew it was going to be a favorite from that moment on. Another amazing feeling, riding Rise of the Resistance for the first time. That was just incredible. The attraction is my favorite at Walt Disney World and Disney Parks, and it is just outstanding in every way. And then later, later on, we had the opportunity to ride it on that special ride cam, which I will never forget. Moments like that mean so much much to me. I get to, to relive it with you through the ride cam. That was amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. Every time I go on Rise of the Resistance, I, my breath is taken away. Then there was that very special moment on the Disney Magic on the Marvel Day at Sea Adventure where Michelle and I just randomly caught Marvel characters dancing, had a chance to meet so many characters, and it's random. It's random on these cruises, but there are small moments like that where I just, we happen to be in the right place at the right time, and sure enough, saw some very, very special characters. So that was fantastic. And there are lots of character meet and greet moments like that. Another amazing memory, maybe two, possibly three food and wine festivals ago, there was this very special funnel cake. Maybe it was a pumpkin spice flavor. I forgot what flavor it was, but it was truly fantastic. Shared it with friends, had ice cream on top. Maybe it was cookies and cream. I don't remember. I don't think it was cookies and cream. I think it was pumpkin spice, something like that. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I hope they bring that back, but it's it's funny how like small memories like that really stick out to me. Then there was that time we had the opportunity to experience the very special General Motors lounge on top of Test Track. That was a moment I will never forget. Sitting on top of that lounge, knowing that, you know, Test Track was going right underneath us. We, we could see Test Track underneath us and looking out onto Epcot as if almost like I was Walt Disney. I felt like Walt Disney for a moment or two up there. It was just incredible. Absolutely incredible incredible to be up there. I, I wouldn't have traded that for anything and I hope one day we have the opportunity to see that lounge and others in the future. One that I definitely do want to mention, the jet ski experience on Castaway Key. This is one that I really treasure. Even though the single jet skis aren't available at the time of filming, I do hope they come back in the future. This was one that David and I absolutely loved and I hope we have the opportunity to do it again because it was just so, so much fun. I think it was like $100, $115 per person. So worth it. Absolutely worth it. Much more expensive now, have they have the doubles only, but that was one I will absolutely never forget. It, it, in, invigorating, invigorating adventure, wow. On that same note, I think earlier in that trip, I uh, dropped my GoPro at the bottom of Castaway Key and thought it was gone forever and my heart was pounding out of my chest as I was worried that I'd never see it again. You remember that one? Oh my gosh, that was... Wow, that was, that was scary, that was scary. But after that, you know, it taught me that you can't leave the GoPro on the head mount because it can fall off. So it's a good thing that it happened when it did and they were able to retrieve it, which was amazing. And after that, I keep it on the little floating handle. So if it ever falls in the water, no problem, just floats to the surface and I grab it. A Couple years ago, we had the opportunity to report on a very, very interesting hurricane coming through the Orlando area. And I was on vacation at the time. I was not living in Florida, but I was on vacation at Pop Century. It was a Storm Trooper Michael moment. It was it was, it was an amazing experience. And I remember a couple days, no, no, it was the day of, a news organization actually picked up on it and shared the video reporting from Pop Century. That was really cool. That was one I'll, 
I'll never forget, I love that. Even though it's gone now, I fondly remember Disney Quest, and I also remember the fact that we had the opportunity to experience it one last time in my 20s, not too long ago, just before it closed. Disney Quest is one that I remember fondly, and I'd love to see something else like it in the future. Another fun, more recent memory was searching for my favorite ice cream at Walt Disney World. David and I had so much fun with this. We went from Giradelli to Ample Hills, looked all over the place, trying to find the absolute best ice cream, and it'll continue to evolve. I have no doubt about it. It'll continue to evolve in the future. Best food, best, best ice cream, so much fun. Last but not least, shortly after it opened, we had the opportunity to experience Pixar Pier at California Adventure. So much fun to see it with all of the Pixar friends. So, so cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it again in the future. It was so fun. Those are a few of the highlight Disney memories that I wanted to share with you, but there are so many others. Building a lightsaber, riding on the gondola for the first time. It goes on and on. But wow, wow, what a decade. I am so looking forward to the next decade with you. Those are my personal favorites. I would love to hear from you. What was your favorite experience that we had together? I'd love to hear in the comments below. You never know, maybe we'll have a similar experience in the future. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.